Yudsik Barber Blade Fabrique, also known as JBF, is a proud manufacturer of Triumph, Champion, and Handy Scrapers. JBF was established around 1930 in a small Danish town. In 1935, the production facility moved to its current home, Alberg. During JBF's first 35 years on the market, they focused their manufacturing efforts on producing traditional, old-fashioned razor blades. Toward the middle of the 1960s, JBF started manufacturing sharp blades for a variety of industrial purposes. The first scraper was launched around 1970. Today, JBF's main products are scrapers and scraper replacement blades for the professional market. Their scrapers and blades are sold through a network of distributors and are exported all over the world. JBF is a member and proud sponsor of the International Window Cleaning Association. The IWCA is a nonprofit trade association committed to raising the standards of professionalism and safety within the window cleaning industry. Most window cleaners have come to know the Triumph 6 inch straight and angle scrapers. In 2007, these got a major facelift. The Mark III scrapers were introduced, bringing the latest design and manufacturing technologies to bear. The new models are stronger, lighter, and feature rubber over molding for a softer ergonomic grip. For their efforts, JBF was awarded a 2007 Good Design Award from the Chicago Athenaeum Museum of Architecture and Design. The classic 6 inch scrapers are still available if that's your preference. To see all JBF scrapers, visit jraysenstein.com. Dot com slash triumph. All Triumph scrapers come with safety covers that lock on securely and are easy to remove. Triumph blades are double edged so you can use both sides. They are available in carbon steel for heavy usage and stainless steel for occasional usage. Carbon blades are stronger and more durable but will rust overnight. Stainless steel are a little thinner but won't rust. Both blade types are available in packs of 10 and 25. Frank Sulek, a professional window cleaner, says Triumph scrapers are the tool of choice for construction cleanup. Frank and his crew use Triumph scrapers day in and day out to remove paint, stickers, and other debris from windows in new homes and buildings. Here Frank uses his Triumph in the recommended fashion. Scraping only wet glass, pushing the scraper forward, then lifting it off the glass instead of pulling it backwards on the glass. Applying even pressure and holding it flat against the glass, avoiding tint that could be scraped off. Listen to Frank as he discusses Triumph scrapers. Um, when we first start, I started a long time ago, um, we were using the small scrapers. And when Jay Racenstein started to carry this, um, we went right to the Triumph blades and have never used anything else. Bird droppings to to uh, bugs out here we get a lot of fly marks um, it, it, it takes those off fairly easy and we do a lot of grocery stores uh, where they they use uh, stickers and tape so they work good and they they hook onto a pole very very nicely uh, very quick you put it on a pole and get 20 feet up in the air with it we use a, a lot of the uh, triumph blades to take off window tint they're in the buckets with the guys when blades every wear day. out or they're are used. damaged they need Probably to be changed. Every job. They're this efficient. is a very easy process as demonstrated by legendary window cleaner Jim Willingham. All right. The way you change this blade, there is a, a little part that sticks out here, a little, little nub. You push that nub in and that releases the blade. Now you want to, there's a thumb catch right there. It's right here thumb catch. You can use your fingernail and you take it and just pull it out far enough. Don't try to pull it all the way out with your fingernail. Just take it far enough out, place both hands on it or a finger and a thumb and pull it out. Now lay it down. Do not try to take that apart while it's not there. Then just pull it apart, get that out of the way, and then take this blade. Now this is a used blade, so you want to dispose of this properly. And one way, the best way to do that is we have a slot on the back of our, our uh, holder that holds the extra blades, you put it in the used part, which is this part here. That's the new part, and this little slot is for the used part. Make sure you put these back in here when you're done. I'm going to go ahead and take this back out because I'll show you how to put it in there. If you don't, if you leave these laying around, somebody's going to find one, especially a child, and they're going to cut themselves extremely bad. So make sure you dispose of these things properly in this slot only. Now, when you go to put this back together, you place, place it here, and there's little buttons here. 
you pick up the blade very carefully, you place it here over those buttons, just like that. Now you take the, uh, you take the blade and the, the handle, and right there is the, the, the little notch right there is where you want to place that notch. Place it right there. Hold it in there. Now it's important that you don't take this and try to slide it this way because you will cut yourself eventually if you do this. So make sure you just start it there and then just kind of push it down like that. It's a lot safer to do that than to try to push it in there like that because eventually you are going to cut yourself if you do it that way. Then replace, always replace this cover so you're in good shape. Jim also demonstrates the Triumph holster. This is the Triumph scraper holster. Uh, there's a clip here or a snap here that snaps it shut to keep it from falling out. You can pull the blade out here, use the blade, wipe it off, put it right back in there, and re-snap it. And you can walk around here. Additionally, there's a place here to place the lid cover. You can place it in, inside this elastic and it'll hold it for you. With 80 years of experience making the world's best professional scrapers, Triumph is an undisputed leader. Don't trust your glass cleanup to anything else.